the sponge is cute you know you can get in those tight spots you know them tight spaces i don't think this is worth 14 dollars no guys what's up this is your girl Kia Shalante what it is or what it ain't what it's gonna be back with another video hope everybody is doing well hope everybody is mentally doing well so in today's video I am gonna be testing out the new Juvia's Place Radiant Foundation and y'all I've been hearing some good reviews off this foundation your girl love her NARS okay that's my holy grail foundation and you know they trying to say that Juvia's Place is a comparison to NARS. So your girl had to check it out for myself to see what it is, what it ain't, what it's going to be. So without further ado, let's vibe. I went ahead and purchased three different shades and the sponge on the Juvia's Place official website. Now, I do know they have these at Ulta, but I don't think Ulta carry all the shade range. These foundations was $22 each and the sponge was $14. These foundations is supposed to be medium to full coverage. And I feel like I'm the best person to test these foundations out because I have dry skin. I have eczema. I have sensitive skin. I have hyperpigmentation, dark marks on my face, and your girl got tattoos on her face. So if you say your foundation is medium to full coverage, then it should be covering up what the fuck is supposed to be covering up, okay, on my face, point blank, period. So I'm super excited about testing these foundations out. I'm going to go ahead and color swatch these foundations. The first shade is going to be Kenya in the shade 200. Y'all, I love the packaging. Like, it's super, super cute. I love the packaging. And it says shape well. Ooh. Oh yeah, that's cute. Yeah. Y'all, it smells so good. Like it smells fruity. Now that can be a pro and con because I have sensitive skin. So to me, it's like, is the smell going to affect the foundation on my face? Because I do have sensitive skin. Watching the second shade in Kano number 150. Shake well. Okay. I definitely want these foundations to sit on my face just to see will it oxidize. What I mean by a foundation oxidizes, the shade that you see in the bottle, when you put it on your face, the shade gets darker. Testing out my last and final shade, which is called Angola in the shade 140. And just looking at the foundation shade, I feel like it is gonna be darker. Oh yeah, that shade is dark. This can be my contour shade for sure. For sure, for sure. When foundations have smell, I'm like, okay, is it going to affect my skin? You know, am I going to break out? Am, am I going to have allergic reaction? So I, I really recommend foundations to not have no smell. So I'm going to go ahead and wipe off this dark shade, which is Angola because this shade is too dark for my skin. Kenya is going to be over here and Kano is going to be over here, okay? Now, before I put on the foundations, I did purchase this I Am Magic Duo sponge. One side is supposed to be denser than the other. It's supposed to blend, conceal, sculpt, set, and finish. Okay, perfect for cream, liquid, and powder foundation. The pink is a more denser side, and then the yellow is a soft side. This side is Kenya. Oh my God, I'm always making a mess with my foundation, y'all. So one side, I'm going to use the pink. And then on the other side, I'm going to use the yellow because I do not want to mix the foundation. Using my setting spray. Now, the difference between using a sponge and a brush, the brush is more of a full coverage. 
and then the sponge takes away the product. Kenya has more of a reddish undertone. Yeah, going in with my yellow side with Kano. So as y'all see, the Kenya side is more reddish than the Kano side. Looking at the foundation, I would definitely go with the Kano side versus the Kenya side. I'm going to just go ahead and take this side off because this is not my shade. Okay, so this is without any makeup, and this is with makeup, which is the Kano shade. Kano, Kano. Okay. It's giving, y'all. It's giving. Do I like the sponge? Yes. Is it worth $14? child you know i gotta be real with y'all is this sponge worth 14 dollars or can you just get a real technique sponge or a sponge from sheen or sheen or from amazon that does the exact same thing the sponge is cute you know you can get in those tight spots you know them tight spaces especially under the under eyes but I'm going to be real with y'all. It's not worth $14. No. Um, my Sheen sponge do just as good. My Amazon sponge do just as good. My Real Techniques, especially my F sponge, do just as good. So, I don't think this is worth $14. Like, especially for one no as y'all see i went back in with my brush y'all with the sponge i would definitely use it for my powder okay like literally get up under the eyes and scope my nose i'm not gonna say i don't see the hype because it is good but it's not 14 dollars good all right y'all so this is the final look i did something basic with a bold lip now my final thoughts on this foundation number one will i buy this foundation again <sighs> to be honest i wouldn't why um because i have sensitive skin and when i put this foundation on it does give that tingle that i don't like now granted it does stop after a while but it's just the fact that i don't know if this foundation might break me out just because of that tingle do i like the smell of the foundation y'all i do i love fruity smells however when i put the foundation on it does tingle i prefer without the smell do i love the coverage of the foundation to be honest i do it did cover up my tattoos which i love will i wear this foundation again um uh, uh, it wouldn't be my go-to this foundation wouldn't be the first i grab it does give that dewy effect that natural radiant effect. Do I feel as though the foundation is worth $23? Um, I'm going to say yes. If you like a foundation that's dewy, that you don't want to spend $50 in NARS radiant natural foundation, I definitely would recommend this as an alternative. I don't like when I put on the foundation I could feel a tingle. I really don't like that, especially having sensitive skin. But for the coverage, for the shade range, for the price, I definitely would say go for it. Would I buy another one of these? Heck no. It's $14? No. No. No, ma'am. No, sir. <laughs> no turkey, no ham. Thank y'all so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.